the Jewish establishment to do anything for Russian Jews for half a century was part of an ongoing process. I'm sick and tired of hearing Jews complaining about what the Christian world didn't do for Jews during the Holocaust. I'm sick and tired of hearing Jews condemning the Vatican and the British and Roosevelt. I never condemn the Christian world for not doing for, for Jews because I don't expect anything more from them. That's not the real lesson of the Holocaust. The real villain of the Holocaust wasn't the Christian world. It was the Jewish establishment that knew that a Holocaust was taking place as early as 1942 and did nothing. I know temple rabbis who in the 1960s were arrested for breaking the law in Selma, Alabama, and Jackson, Mississippi. For who? For blacks. That's nice. What was the issue there? Civil rights. But when the issue in 1942 and 43 wasn't civil rights, but Jewish lives, and 12,000 Jews died every single, every single day, was there one temple rabbi that ever got arrested? When the Jews of Hitler's Europe pleaded with them and begged them shake the world for a very practical, a very, very practical answer. The Jews were brought to Auschwitz and to all the other camps, not by some magical, magic carpet. They were brought there by freight trains, railroad cars. And every day, 12,000 Jews arrived and 12,000 Jews left through the, the chimneys. And the Jews begged American Jewry, shake the world and demand that that Roosevelt bombed the railroad lines, bombed the railroad lines, and put them out of, out of the commission, and bombed the bridges over which those, those lines run, and every day saved, you saved 12,000 lives. Did they shake the world? They didn't do anything. The same Jews who in 1963 went to Washington for Martin Luther King's dream, they didn't go to Washington in 1942, in 1943. If the Jewish leaders, including Mort, most people here don't, don't know who Mort is, believe me, you're missing nothing. If all the Jewish leaders, the American Jewish Congress, the American Jewish Committee, the B'nai B'nai Hillel, would have led 100,000 Jews to Washington in 1943, and there at the White House, sat on Pennsylvania Avenue, blocking traffic, and shouting for hell no, we won't go, which is a famous Jewish slogan, and saying, bomb Auschwitz, bomb Auschwitz, bomb Auschwitz, what would have happened? Two things would have happened. One, they, one, they would have been arrested, which, believe me, is no sweat. In and out, that's no problem. But more important, the next day, every Jewish, every, every single newspaper, in the free world would have had headlines saying Jewish leaders arrested, the man bombing of death camps, and they would have been bombed and Jews would have been saved. You know why they didn't do it? For the same reason that the Jewish leaders in this city now are terrified of America Hanna. What will the Gentiles say? And will this cause anti-Semitism? That's what bothers them. And the sacrificial lambs were six million Jews because they were afraid of anti-Semitism in this country.